up a little bit more to about 108 hours and we can see Monday uh, where the heaviest rain is going to fall. You can clearly see it is in south central uh, New Mexico. You're going to get slammed guys. Albuquerque is still going to get some pretty heavy rain. Uh, but again, according to this model, it looks like the heaviest rain is going to fall in south central New Mexico at this time. Again, Arizona, you're really not going to see uh, a very strong moisture plume at all. It's going to be isolated to scattered in the mountains, isolated in the deserts. But again, with a lot of solar insulation and cape values of approaching 2,000 kilojoules, even in Arizona, I'm concerned about isolated supercell development. Um, but again, it won't rain very long. The cells will move very quickly, but the, where the hail threat is going to be uh, preferably, again, northern Arizona, southeastern Arizona, with a little bit uh, possibly in the Phoenix area. And we'll go out a little bit more further in time now to 120 hours out. This will take us to Tuesday, and we can currently see, again, uh, New Mexico, you are still under the gun. It has weakened a little bit, but not that much. You're still seeing very persistent monsoonal winds um, from the south coming into New Mexico because of the orientation of this low pressure system, which doesn't move very fast. It's going to hang out for a couple of days. So very heavy rains uh, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms. Again, mainly stratiformed rainfall. Uh, but we will see embedded thunderstorms across New Mexico. But this is a potentially serious situation setting up. Um, I wouldn't say catastrophic. I don't want to frighten anybody. But I wanted to make this video about two, maybe three days ahead of the event. Uh, because I want you guys to be able to prepare for this event. Especially across New Mexico. I'm getting concerned uh, with several days of rainfall repeated. It's going to cause problems for sure. You're going to have flooding. And some areas are going to approach, especially the mountains, six to eight inches of rainfall. Uh, with the lowlands, we're seeing between 1 and 5 inches of rain. And again, in New Mexico, the storms will move decently, but they're not going to be moving very fast like they will be in Arizona. Going 144 hours out now, uh, we can currently see what's going to happen here. <clears throat> and uh, you can see the moisture plume is still you know, visible in New Mexico at this time, but it's really starting to calm down. Uh, this is uh, Wednesday, and you can see the moisture in Arizona, it's really isolated. The central deserts, according to this model, are going to be quiet. And that won't surprise me if we get under a dry slot. Uh, but initially, we will see some rain in Arizona as well. And again, supercell thunderstorms are a real possibility. It's not going to be widespread supercells. These are going to be very isolated supercell structures to these storms. And um, again, moderate size hail is a possibility in the storm with the storms in Arizona as well as parts of northern, uh, excuse me, southern Utah as well. Going a little bit further out now, we'll go to about 174 hours. And again, by this time, the low pressure is pretty much done and over with. Um, we're not looking at, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we're not looking at much moisture left at this time. The influence of the low, the low is going to move into, you know, <coughs> parts of southern Wyoming at this time and then move into Canada um, by this time period. But either way you look at it, a significant rainfall event <clears throat> is now expected. Uh, about a 75% chance of it occurring uh, across New Mexico at this time. Uh, so again, very wet conditions are likely for New Mexico. I know you haven't seen much rain this monsoon season so far this year, um, but that is about to change. Um, again, um, I won't be surprised if at the last minute some of the heaviest rains switch a little bit more into Arizona. But again, it depends on the orientation of the low. Um, <clears throat> we don't exactly know where this low pressure still is going to set up. I'll have a better clarification of that um, as we get closer to the event, maybe a day before the event. I'll have a little bit better after I start seeing the satellite view and um, different models, a couple more runs of the models. Um, but again, right now, New Mexico, you are under the gun for the heaviest rainfall. South, central New Mexico, going to get the heaviest rainfall. And again, the mountains could see up to eight inches of rain. It's mudslides, all kinds of problems. Um, <clears throat> but the severe threat looks relatively low across New Mexico and West Texas. Um, but Arizona is a different story, uh, as well as parts of Nevada and Utah. We're going to see more, less rainfall, but more severe weather. Uh, potentially developing across the air because the winds are going to be at 65 to 70 knots at times and uh, that you only need about 30, 20 to 25 knots of wind shear to have a severe thunderstorm itself 
But with that much wind shear, I am afraid that some severe thunderstorms, to perhaps supercells, uh, will develop over the central and eastern deserts. And uh, though they will be very isolated in nature, not widespread whatsoever, um, this event is similar, but not the same. Um, no one situation or event is the same, but it's very similar uh, to that of the event that took place in October 5th and 6th, no, excuse me, 4th, 5th, and 6th of 2010, which brought numerous supercells across the Phoenix area and a, a massive, according to Arizona standards, uh, a massive tornado outbreak, I guess uh, 22 confirmed tornado warnings in the state of Arizona on the 6th. It began 1.25 a.m. Uh, across Arizona and continued uh, into the very late night uh, across the area on the 6th. And uh, the biggest tornado was around Tuba City. Uh, where it was an EF3 and had 200 mile per hour winds uh, at its maximum uh, strength and caused about a, almost a three quarter mile wide path of damage uh, across the area and pulled down massive power lines, huge power lines, heavy, weighing several thousand pounds. Um, it was amazing. Um, I don't think we're going to see that many tornadoes with this event in Arizona. I don't expect it. Um, we're going to have a lot of warm air aloft with this low since the moisture plume is going to be in New Mexico. We're going to be under the warm air. So the cold air aloft will be mostly in parts of Nevada, Utah, and much of West Texas, extreme West Texas, and a lot of New Mexico. So um, with the warm air aloft, it should keep the severe threat in Arizona down quite a bit. Uh, but again, possible supercell thunderstorms with large hail, one inch in diameter or larger across parts of Arizona. Could see a tornado warning or two across the state of Arizona, perhaps one for Colorado and, and uh, Utah. And uh, an isolated tornado is possible in West Texas or New Mexico. So again, not a huge tornado threat. Um, the, the chances of actually seeing a tornado anywhere in the southwest over this event is only around 10% or less. Uh, but again, the chance is there. So I'll keep you guys posted. I might have another video before the event. Uh, but if not, I want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, this is going to be about a two-part video. Um, make sure you watch both parts. Please leave questions or comments down below. I will answer in a timely manner. Please no hate comments down below. I'm very tired with arguing with people about the North American monsoon. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired of it. I am not going to answer any more questions about whether or not we have a North American monsoon. Um, I have my beliefs. You guys have your beliefs and opinions, um, but I'm not going to fight anymore uh, with anybody on my videos about the North American monsoon. You guys call it whatever you like, um, but again, another active period for the North American monsoon season 2017 is coming up, especially for our southern New Mexico. And next week, um, it looks like if models verify, very heavy rains could be falling across Arizona towards the very end of the month of August into the very first week of September. Now, we're possibly going to be looking at the tropics for this one, guys. Rainfall uh, looking scary right now. Arizona, you could see as much as, yes, 10 inches of rain in the mountains and up to 5 inches of rain around the Phoenix area if these models verify but I'm not hanging my hat on that. It's very far out. That is almost 11 to 12 days out, and I'm not buying that whatsoever at this current time. But I will not be surprised if a massive flooding event does occur across the state of Arizona, once again, like that took place on September 8th, 2014, where up to seven to eight inches of rain in parts of the East Valley fell from a 10 hour period. Absolutely insane. There was a biggest rainfall I have ever seen across the area but this time it's you guys New Mexico you're gonna get it first this year and be prepared for numerous flash flooding area uh, areas of flash flooding it's gonna be very dangerous and treacherous across much of south central New Mexico I cannot stress enough turn around don't drown please don't get yourself hurt if you're gonna film this uh, we like to see weather videos of the, of the floods and stuff, but we don't want pe you to go out there and get hurt doing so. Please be safe. Again, um, now I'm going to end this video. 